Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Today I'm doing the unboxing on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 10.1. This tablet is going for $399 for the 16GB storage. And this is just the Wi-Fi model. And you have a little Samsung.com logo. On the side you just have the name of it. Over here you have all the text uh, stuff for when they scan it and all the proper name. Now the important stuff on the back. Zoom in for you guys. Alright, so the important stuff to note here is that it is a 10.1 WXGA uh, TIFF LCD. Which means it's 20, uh, 1280 by 800 resolution. It has a dual core 1 GHz processor which I believe is TI OpMap, uh, which is a similar processor, slightly slower compared to the Galaxy Nexus phone. And it does have Samsung's Media Hub, which is basically um, just an alternative to the Android uh, Play Store, Google Play Store, which was basically, it's really nice because anything you buy on this hub, uh, you can use it on a Samsung Smart TV. So it's pretty cool for that purpose. You do have uh, HD video capture and playback. Uh, I believe the video resolution is at 720 for recording. It is, of course, compatible with Adobe Flash Player. Well, everything is but an iPad. Every tablet has that. Um, you do have video chat. And you also have, of course, Android, Wi-Fi certification up to N, uh, Bluetooth built-in, and DivX HD. The uh, exact model, if you're ever looking for a case or anything like that for this tablet, is called the... GTP5113. Alright, let's take a look at it. Zoom out again for you guys. And so as soon as we open it, uh, we see more uh, just specs on it. Of course, this does come out of the box with Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. It does have a smart remote uh, courtesy of Peel, and it's uh, really good for enterprises. So if you're looking for a more secure solution, uh, for your business, this is the tablet to go with. Uh, so let me turn this on. And take off this screen cover. Uh, one thing to note is it does have uh, stereo speakers on the front. So I'm expecting this to be the uh, loudest, uh, sharpest uh, speakers we've heard to date. The thing the Galaxy did, uh, the Samsung did with this Galaxy is basically have more of a curvature so that it's not a complete black bezel around it. Uh, so you have this little silver accent right here on the side, which really makes it comfortable to hold, I'm definitely noticing. Now, take the plastic off on the back. Actually, before I do, uh, let me show you guys the top. So the top right here, you have the power port right there. You have the... Uh, rocker, volume rocker right here, which is really pronounced, very easy to feel out. You have the micro SD card slot, you have the IR blaster, and you have the headphone uh, port, uh, which does support mic as well. On this side, we don't have anything. On the bottom, we have the proprietary 30 pin port, as well as uh, a noise cancellation uh, microphone at the bottom as well. And nothing on the left side. So, those are the main highlights of it, definitely. And I just got a message from one of you guys. Uh, so, those are the speakers, and we'll check more of this out in a second. Let me just actually see what else is in the box. Alright, so we have the power adapter, um, which can be used for different countries. This is for the US model, so I get this one. You do have the USB proprietary cable that plugs it to the wall, as well as to your computer. So, again, it's always nice to have that. In terms of manuals, we have this one that won't open. Alright, we do have uh, the manual uh, in different languages, of course. There's a health, health and safety uh, warranty guide and all this kind of stuff. You have uh, the adapters you can get, which I will actually do a video on, because uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about We'll actually do a video on the HDTV adapter as well as the adapter for the um, SD card, uh, or sorry, USB uh, slot, which you can also add a memory card reader into it. And it looks like they have uh, two new ones, which is a pouch and universal desk dock. A little quick guide, which just basically tells you how to turn it on, where all the buttons are, your Play Store, and all that basic function stuff. 
and the Samsung Media Hub again just letting you know that uh, this you can download any videos TV shows or movies on here and then you can actually uh, play it on your smart TV alright so that's all that stuff let me take off the backing and let's see how this backing feels does it feel plasticky does it feel good you know will it be resolutionary we don't know Okay, first thing to note, the backing definitely isn't the easiest to take off. Alright. Alright, so we do have this uh, silver backing for the tablet. Uh, very shiny, um, looks like it is fingerprint resistant and scratch resistant, so that's kind of nice. Um, you have a 3 uh, megapixel camera on the back. In terms of weight, uh, it's a little bit, little bit heavier compared to my original Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um, definitely a little bit heavier, but I know spec-wise, only about half an ounce heavier. Um, in terms of speed, not bad. It's a dual-core processor, so don't expect it to be faster than like uh, a lot of the quad cores out right now, but. Actually, not moving that bad. Uh, really nice animation. Let's see how well it keeps up. Alright, not bad. Um, let's go check out the video player real quick. Let's see how these speakers are. I was blown away by the Galaxy Player uh, speakers on the unboxing. If you haven't checked that one out, definitely check it out. Um, so let's see how these speakers stack up. Pretty loud, um, definitely worlds louder than my, huh, actually I would say it's probably louder than every tablet I've heard. Uh, the screen quality is amazing by the way as you guys can see, um, it's playing it really good and this is a 1080p playback so, yeah, really good quality, um, I think it should have, yep, it has equalizers, um, which are really nice too, built into the player. And you can automatically find a TV if you have one to uh, send the video to, like I have right there, so I can just send it to my uh, smart TV and continue playing the video right there. Alright guys, well, that was a pretty nice unboxing, and if you guys have any questions about the tablet, uh, definitely ask them right now. Don't let time waste so that I can answer them on the review and any kind of special video or comparison you want to see this stacked against, definitely let me know. Alright, uh, subscribe to the channel so you can get those answers for yourself. This has been RICKY, the Android Guy.